Hello guys, great morning and once again this is Nosy Rosie and today we're gonna be having this kind of tutorial because we believe that this video will help a lot of people especially for those who are working at home, doing business at home and to those guys, to those um, of course to those students who will be taking their, their um, school year or will be having their school year at home and they will be doing it um, remotely, right? So this particular tutorial will help a lot of students out there and uh, before we proceed of course we find this video helpful for each and every one of us because this will um help um not only you but also the health of your devices or your computers because i know for a fact that most of us have um uninstalled software from the past installed and uninstalled software from the past so when you go to the control panel you'll be surprised that the software is still there even though you have already removed or uninstalled it now, unfortunately, and the worst thing that might happen is those particular fragments and leftover registry that that particular uninstalled software left from your computer, it will be resulted into um, slow computer in the long run or in the future. As well as if, let's say, you try to install another software, the same software that you have removed, you thought it was already removed, but it will give you a prompt saying that this particular software is still existing on your computer knowing that you have already uninstalled it before makes sense so that is the main reason as to why we've created this video because this particular tutorial or this particular way for you uninstall a software is easy um it's fast and at the same time it's risk-free it is safe it is safe for your computer you'll don't have to you don't have to shell out anything because the the program itself is free unless you would like to purchase a premium one of course so to start off you'll just have to go to google chrome if you're if you prefer to use google chrome as your default browser so you'll just have to uh, to type revo space uninstaller as you can see here on my screen and just click enter or press enter choose revo uninstaller free it is for free of course then just click download by the way um this is a, a tip especially for those who are new using a computer um when you use google chrome the the download software is will be will be showing at the bottom left corner of your screen as you can see here my mouse um is pointing to um you can also press uh control plus letter j on your keyboard to see the list of your downloads right that is magic right or you can also go ahead and click the three buttons um at the at the top uh right corner of your screen and just simply choose downloads and there you have it all of the downloads will be showing here so when you click revo here um it will route you to the installation wizard which is also easy so i will not go through that anymore i'll assure you that you're going to be able to follow that once you actually tried it for yourself okay now um this is for google but how about for microsoft edge so if you're a user of windows 10 um, once again, you'll just have to type the word Revo and Installer and it will route you to this page for free downloads. But this time, um, the download will not be showing at the bottom left corner of your screen anymore. When you click free download, it will give you different um, options at the bottom at the bottom of your screen still, but at the center. And as you can see, there are run, save and cancel. So if you would like to just simply run the software itself with the, the installation wizard, all you have to do is to click run. But if you would like to save the software on your download folder, you'll just have to click save so that you can go back or at least copy the software in the future if you would like to. So it is your choice. All right. At the end of the day, if you choose run or save, you will still be able to install the software. You just don't have to click cancel. Out. Um, you don't have to, to click the cancel button, of course. So I will no longer download that. I'll just give you some options or I'll just give you some tips on what are the things that you're going to be seeing if you will, if you will be using different browser by when, when you download this software. Okay. So moving on to the tutorial proper. So as you can see here, this is the interface of Revo installer. This is not the updated one, but if you would like to upgrade to Pro, it's up to you. It is $14.99. Um, for me, for the meantime, since um, I find the, the free software useful for me, so I'll just stick with a free one. By the way, guys, I am not promoting neither selling Revo Installer. I just find this um, tutorial or I just find this software useful for everyone to be used. Now, um, with that being said, um, you can go ahead and choose which software you would like to remove. 
for me i would like to remove let's say uh i can even download one of these offers mm, actually so i'll just remove team viewer so team viewer is a good software as well just in case you would like to remote someone's computer you can use this but windows 10 um, has a built-in remote app, but I will I will discuss more of that for uh, the, to, to our future videos, okay? So for the meantime, we will be focusing with Rebel Installer. So you just highlight the preferred software that you would like to remove or uninstall. And then, as you can see, I highlighted TeamViewer. And then the uninstall button um, at the upper left corner of your screen or upper... Um, upper side of your screen you will see that the uninstall icon is lit so you'll just have to click that and you will see a pop-up window that says uninstalling team view it will says that creating a system restore point by the way system restore point is a good thing that revel installer is being saved to your computer automatically because some if something might happen to your computer let's say you've experienced blue screen of death from the statement itself it's scary but yes so just in case hap uh, something happened um, like a uh, blue screen um, of death, let's say you've encountered that, at least you do have a, a turning point. You can go back to the original state of your computer from, from the last time that you did something from it. Let's say on my case, I've uninstalled TeamViewer, but let's say something happened after this, hopefully none. <laughs> at least I do have something that I could um, go back. So it is not... It is not a relationship though, okay? So you'll just have to move on if it is a relationship. It is a stupid joke anyway, but <laughs> moving on. Um, you'll just have to click uninstall. And then you will see that TeamViewer is being uninstalled from your computer. Yes, there is an install feedback, but this is actually, um, uh, what do you call that? It is not a, a mandatory thing. It is a optional thing, of course, but it also depends on what kind of software that you have removed from your computer so you'll just have to go back to Revo installer as you can see i've just clicked it there you go so i'll just minimize this window right and then you'll just have to click close and as you can see from the Revo installer um, pop-up window you will see that there are three scanning modes different scanning modes like safe moderate and advanced so i normally choose moderate i'm not choosing advanced because for me um, moderate is already a good option to choose from so I'll just stick with moderate but if you would like to, to to change it to advance it's up to you but for me I'll just choose moderate and then just click scan there you go I'll just have to wait for it so it depends on how um, fast and how slow your computer would be so you just have to be patient at my case it is already finished so you don't have to click this one by one because you'll just have to click select all right down here and then click delete button and then click yes there you go another one another batches of leftover files and folders and registries like what i have mentioned earlier guys this is very very important to be removed from your computer because in the long run these batch of registries as well as the one that i deleted um, earlier will make your computer or will actually cause your computer to slow down okay so it's really really important to do this process or to go through this process so again i already selected it and then just click delete and then click yes and there you have it no more um team viewer installed in my computer this is um what revo uninstaller show shows to us and then when I go to my main um, desktop, uh, TeamViewer is no longer um, it's no longer showing up. Yes, that's my house, no, actually my dream house. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, um, friends and families. I hope that you're gonna be you will be able to find this video helpful, this tutorial helpful, especially for those who will be working at home, who's already working at the home, doing business at home, especially to those guys who will be um studying at home this is really really helpful especially um if your computer is new and you don't want to crash your computer as earlier as you know uh the the, the school year hasn't been ended yet so you better you better consider the health not only of your body but also the health of your devices or computers all right so if you have any questions just drop your comments below 
we already posted or provided um, our different social media platform. You can send us your question if you if you do have any other questions, and we will be happy to help you. And of course, if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing, like and share, and click the notification bell so that you're going to be notified for our future videos. And this is Nozy Rosie. Exploring is learning and learning is empowering. And dahil marami ka pang dapat malaman in Filipino. And of course, have a great day and God bless.